Personality disorders are a group of mental health conditions that affect the way a person thinks, feels, and behaves. These disorders are often long-term and can cause significant distress and impairment in a person's life. Personality disorders can be grouped into three clusters, cluster A, cluster B, and cluster C. Cluster A disorders are characterized by odd or eccentric behavior, cluster B disorders are characterized by dramatic, emotional, or erratic behavior, and cluster C disorders are characterized by anxious or fearful behavior. Personality disorders can also be categorized as either high-functioning or low-functioning. High-functioning individuals with personality disorders may be able to maintain relationships and hold jobs, while low-functioning individuals may struggle to manage their daily lives. It's important to note that personality disorders are not the same as mood disorders, such as depression or bipolar disorder. While mood disorders affect a person's emotional state, personality disorders affect a person's overall personality and behavior. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, recognizes 10 different types of personality disorders. These include Cluster of Disorders 1. Paranoid Personality Disorder 2. Schizoid Personality Disorder 3. Schizotypal Personality Disorder Cluster B Disorders 1. Antisocial Personality Disorder 2. Borderline Personality Disorder 3. Histrionic Personality Disorder 4. Narcissistic Personality Disorder Cluster C Disorders 1. Avoidant Personality Disorder 2. Dependent Personality Disorder 3. Obsessive-Compulsive Personality Disorder Each type of personality disorder has its own set of symptoms and characteristics. For example, someone with borderline personality disorder may struggle with intense and unstable emotions, impulsive behavior, and a fear of abandonment. Someone with narcissistic personality disorder may have an inflated sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy for others, and a need for admiration and attention. Personality disorders can have a significant impact on relationships. People with personality disorders may struggle with maintaining healthy relationships and may have difficulty understanding and empathizing with others. They may also engage in behaviors that are harmful to themselves or others. For example, someone with borderline personality disorder may lash out at their partner during times of stress or perceived abandonment. Someone with narcissistic personality disorder may manipulate and gaslight their partner to maintain control and feed their need for admiration. These behaviors can cause significant emotional harm to their partners and may lead to the breakdown of the relationship. It's important to note that not everyone with a personality disorder is abusive or harmful to their partners. However, the presence of a personality disorder can make it more difficult to navigate a relationship, and therapy may be necessary to work through the challenges. In recent years, there has been a rise in awareness of narcissistic abuse and its impact on relationships. Narcissistic abuse is a form of emotional abuse that stems from narcissistic personality disorder. Narcissistic abusers are skilled at manipulating and gaslighting their partners, leaving them feeling confused, isolated, and traumatized. The rise of narcissistic abuse awareness has been driven in part by the hashtag MeToo movement and increased awareness of emotional abuse. As more people share their stories of narcissistic abuse, it has become clear that this is a pervasive issue that affects many people. By raising awareness of narcissistic abuse and personality disorders, we can begin to break the cycle of abuse and provide support for those who have been affected by it. It can be difficult to recognize the signs of narcissistic abuse, as the abuse is often subtle and insidious. However, there are some common signs to look out for. These include 1. Gaslighting, manipulating the victim to doubt their own reality and sanity. 2. Blame shifting, blaming for everything on the victim. 3. Isolation, cutting the victim off from friends and family. 4. Intimidation, using threats or coercion to control the victim. 5. Emotional manipulation, using guilt, shame, or other tactics to control the victim's behavior. 6. Verbal abuse, using insults, name-calling, and other forms of verbal abuse to demean and control the victim. 7. Triangulation, creating drama and conflict between the victim and other people to maintain control. 
If you or someone you know is experiencing these behaviors in a relationship, seeking help and support is important. Recovering from narcissistic abuse can be a long and difficult process. It's important to seek therapy and support from friends and family. Therapy can help survivors of narcissistic abuse work through the trauma and rebuild their sense of self-worth. It's also important to recognize that healing is a process and may take time. In addition to therapy, some self-care practices can be helpful for survivors of narcissistic abuse. These include 1. Setting boundaries, learning to set healthy boundaries and stick to them. 2. Practicing self-care, taking care of oneself physically, emotionally, and mentally. 3. Journaling, writing down thoughts and feelings can be a helpful way to process emotions and gain clarity. 4. Mindfulness, practicing mindfulness can help survivors stay present and grounded in the moment. There are many resources available for survivors of narcissistic abuse. These include 1. Therapy, a qualified therapist can help survivors work through the trauma and develop healthy coping strategies. 2. Support groups, Support groups can provide a safe and supportive space for survivors to share their experiences and connect with others who have been through similar situations. 3. Online resources. There are many online resources available for survivors of narcissistic abuse, including blogs, forums, and websites. If you know someone who is suffering from narcissistic abuse, it's important to be supportive and understanding. It's important to validate their feelings and avoid blaming or judging them for the situation. Encourage them to seek help and support, whether that be through therapy, support groups, or online resources. It's also important to recognize that leaving an abusive relationship can be difficult and dangerous. Encourage your friend or loved one to develop a safety plan and seek professional help if necessary. The rise of narcissistic abuse awareness is an important step in breaking the cycle of abuse and providing support for survivors. By understanding personality disorders and the impact they can have on relationships, we can begin to recognize the signs of abuse and offer resources to those who need it. It's important to continue to raise awareness of this issue and break the stigma surrounding mental health and abuse. Together, we can work towards a world where everyone can live healthy and fulfilling lives free from abuse.